Hey guys, Jamie of the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. Today we're gonna make a do-it-yourself lotion candle. Also called a massage candle, really the same thing. The thing that I love about these candles is they not only set the mood when you're getting a massage, but they also warm up the oils. So no more of a shock to your system getting cold oils poured on your back. So this will really heat them up. I did put the full recipe down in the description box below. I also put a link to my blog so I go a little bit more in depth about all the ingredients and why we use them. So if you're interested in that, hop over to the blog. I did kind of want to explain a few things. So with your massage candle, it's gonna take longer to cool than a regular candle will. So if it's taking longer, don't freak out. It just takes longer because all of these oils that are in here are slowing down the cooling of the wax, which is actually a good thing when you think about it because we wanna extend the massage. So once the stuff's heated up, we don't want to like go into wax form because that'd be weird and awkward. Um, I kind of wanna explain a little bit on how you use one and then we'll dive into how you make one. So. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to light your candle and you're gonna light it for like 15, 20 minutes until like there's a pool of wax in here. Then you're gonna blow it out, put it on your hand and then you give a massage like that. You wanna be sure that you don't use too big of a jar. So I normally use like this one or like the four inch tin jars that are rather shallow. And I do that because if you use a big jar, you're gonna have tunneling down the center. And that's because we're actually pouring the wax out and you're wasting a lot of the candle. So you're better off making a few small ones than you are making a big one. Um, let's just dive in and learn how to make it. What you're gonna wanna do first is go ahead and put the wick in your candle. So to do this, we're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of the wick tab and then just place it in the very center of your jar. And then you just push down just a wee little bit. For this massage candle, what I'm using is I'm using soy wax, cocoa butter, shea butter, castor oil, and fragrance oil. So go ahead and grab yourself a heat safe container. You need to make sure that it's heat safe because it is gonna go on a double boiler. Pop in your soy wax, your cocoa butter, shea butter, and your castor oil. And we're gonna put this on a double boiler until it's completely melted. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're kind of stirring it while it's melting. After you pull your heated wax off the double boiler, be sure that you wipe around the edges so there's no water on your container. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add our fragrance oil. And then you're, <laughs> you're gonna to wanna to give that a really good mix. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour our massage candle into our jar. And then you're just gonna to wanna to grab something to center the wick. I like to use a Sharpie, but you can really use anything that you have on hand. And we're gonna allow this to cool completely. And once your candle's cooled, and it's gonna take a while to cool, um, so just give it a few hours to cool down all the way. You're just gonna cut the wick to a quarter of an inch, and there is your finished lotion massage candle. And it really is that easy to make your own lotion or massage candle. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own. Bye.